Did you hear about that study, Betty? Sh- out of Chicago? That found that men outlive oh, women sexually please. by like 20 years, meaning even though they don't live as long, what were they, they function thinking? sexually longer. Okay, I'll tell you why. Why they're so. They're defining sex as a penis inside a vagina, which is the procreative model. This That's is only it. about heterosexuals, the study. They didn't even poll lesbians oh, or bisexuals. They never do. They never do. But when <laughs> I said that men out. Can out sex can out their sex lives outlive women now because of Viagra? <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? That's because they don't think, or they have forgotten, or they don't realize that we have a clitoris. Oh, your vaginal lining thins as you age, and there was a point where vaginal intercourse isn't that interesting anymore to you as a woman. You want something else, but your clitoris is always there. Always there, and I must say, my work has been based on helping women to discover their orgasm, and most of them are coming to me wondering why they can't have orgasms with partner sex. And it is because it's only penis-vagina friction. Doesn't work. It doesn't work. It works. All right, it worked for me when I was young and, you know. It works in your 20s when you're really hot and in love with someone. Yeah, That's when it works. Yeah, and then you hit your 30s and it's like, ugh, it's getting harder and harder. It's like chasing that, (laughs) oh, I think I, oh, I got it. No, I I got (laughs) to sit still. (laughs) They don't factor in this basic information that the clitoris is a woman's primary sex organ. Not her vagina. Not the vagina. That's why the whole thing of this. Don't call the female genitals a vagina. No. It is a vulva. It's only the vagina's the birth canal, guys. Is that why women don't like sex? Well, yeah. Because some it, women say they don't like sex, and when I hear that, I'm thinking, what? What's better than an orgasm? I don't understand that. They're not having orgasm. So this one woman came in, she said, I'm just sick and tired of providing my husband with his orgasms, and, and I'm not getting anything. And the other th- way to look at it is that men are masturbating inside of our vaginas. <laughs> if, if we're not coming, it's Pay like... the toll. <laughs> the, the clitoris play and the orgasm is the toll to my vagina. So a smart man will either, you know, focus on oral sex or he'll con- include manual sex during intercourse. He'll, yeah. do so- he'll do something. but And then you'll have a woman who wants to fuck you for life. If, yeah, if she, if she gets to have her orgasm, there's a real bond. It is a real bond. Oh, my 70s, had, I had actually some of the best partner sex of my life. And I Isn't was that taking, great to yeah, know? Yeah, is this good to know? And uh, this does happen for some women. Because by now, I don't have to worry about pregnancy. We don't have to use... We're both clean. We know that. Tested. We don't have to use birth control. We, I mean, it's not like you're gonna, he's not looking for a husband. Like all that pressure is off. It's gone. It's just pure pleasure. Absolutely mm. pure pleasure. Well, and so here it is. It's available. And and I didn't make any apologies about getting out my vibrator when we had intercourse. Because <laughs> at seventy, and, you're like, ah. Uh. <laughs> uh, here's how I like to come, honey. <laughs> the whole point is this: that if we redefine sex for what it really is, how we have sex together which would be engaging both of our primary sex organs for pleasure. Penis, clitoris. Penis and clitoris. If we did that, it would be a happier world. It really would. would, The battle between the sexes would end, and that would be a nice thing. I think once that happens, maybe we can create world peace. It's worth a try. I think so.